Hello, YouTube. It's been a little while, but uh, I've been extremely busy with work. I just haven't had time to make videos, guys. I hope y'all can understand that, but I'm going to try to get back in the routine of it, but we're going to revisit a topic and a service call. This is another Bryant system. As you guys know, I sell Rheem. Uh, 95% of the time I sell Rheem. The other, the other 5%, I will sell a Bryant. I do sell a Bryant here and there, but for the most part, it's Rheem. Well, this particular service call we're going to right now was given to me by the Bryant distributor, Baker Distributing. They pretty much got me the lead on a service call and it turned into a change out. So, you know, I kind of had to use Brian equipment on it. Anyway, it's a 16 sear Bryant condenser with a gas furnace and a coil. Upflow, five inch media filter, real nice system. She called me last night and said that the outdoor unit was just humming. Now keep in, now keep in mind this unit is probably barely a year old we'll, we'll find out we'll find out when we get there because I write the date anytime I install a system I always write the in, the date of installation inside the condenser uh, electrical cover that way it doesn't wear off and it you know it's not ugly markings on the outside so when we get there we'll take a look on the inside of the cover but I can guarantee y'all We've got another bad Chinese capacitor. Left, Dr. Patricia, and this Chase, now, and now destination is on your left. When I do Bryant's now or ICP, I change the capacitor at installation because this has been such an ongoing problem. But on this particular one, I was not doing that yet. So we are pulling up right now and we are going to uh, see if that's what it is. I'm pretty confident that's what it is. All right, here's our unit. It's a 16 Sear Bryant. We're waiting on the thermostat. Oh, I can hear it humming. I don't know if y'all heard that. All right. I've killed the disconnect. These are very nice units, but if you don't change the damn capacitor at installation, you will be back within a year. And some people don't like that. Yep, and I can see it, it's swollen. Yeah, it hasn't even been a year. Look at that. January 20th of 21. Nine months. Look at that capacitor. It's, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it's swollen. It, it made it nine months. That's, that's just unacceptable. I mean, if Carrier and Bryant and ICP are any chance that they're watching this video, this is just unacceptable. It's a 45 by five. They even put the nice little color codes on there for you. Common, 
Oh, might help if I put it on microfarads instead of ohms. Common hermetic. Zero. Common the fan. Okay, got it. Common the fan. Can y'all see that? Zero. That's that's ridiculous. I think this is the bracket that only holds, yep, one screw. And this fat. I'm gonna do like that, make you some room. I just heard another condenser kick on next door. There we go. All right. We've got it off. Five, five and it's got a bulge see it's a rocker see how it rocks and they only have one screw hole I'm gonna put a zip or a bit tip screw in there to make it more rigid but I'm gonna go get a 45 five and Baker distributing is gonna owe me a capacitor All right, so in the side of my truck here, in the pack out, I've got several 45.5s because that is the most common size we see here. I have a green Trade Pro from Baker that was given to me on the last Bryant warranty. And then I have an American made Mars. It says Pro Parts because I shop at, I get all my parts at Goodman. But if you open up the box, it's a Mars USA made capacitor. They just, Goodman just puts their name on the box. See, Mars made in USA. But since we have one of these Baker, and as you can see the American flag on it, I've had really good luck with these. These are the green ones. This is a USA made Trade Pro. And like I said, it was warrantied out through Baker on the last Bryant warranty cap. So we're gonna use that one. Give her a nice, pretty green capacitor. And then I just throw my pack out back in there. I can use a little bit more room. So yeah, there's one of the bins in my truck of my new topper. So we'll grab this. This goes back over here. And this is a jar of caps in case I need them. Okay, so she'll get a nice, pretty green, 45.5 capacitor and she's sitting in the backyard with me now so I'll film but I won't be able to talk probably Common Hermetic. Uh, no, he, he can, he can 46. Uh, I don't know. 
All right, guys, I have to put the camera down to get it mounted. All right, we got the nice green Trade Pro in there. Here's the indoor. All right, guys, she's running, she's cooling. I was just here. You know, what's funny is I was just here on the maintenance maybe a month or two ago, and that capacitor checked out. It was reading a full 45 on the hermetic side and a full five on the fan side. But that's what they do. They just all of a sudden... And look, on the last video that I did like this, I got a lot of comments saying stop whining and crying and just fix it. Look, guys, I'm not whining and crying. Coming out here, changing out a capacitor in nine months, it doesn't bother me. That's my job. But my customer don't like it. Customers don't like when you put a brand new system in and nine months later on a Sunday evening, I mean, she called me so late last night that she told me she thank God she's nice enough to say no you don't have to come out tonight come out in the morning you know nine months later not even a year in she has no air no cooling that's what bothers me me coming out here changing out a capacitor that don't bother me that's why now when I do install a Bryant we go ahead and buy we buy the system and we buy a trade pro green cap the American made one from Baker and we swap the cap out before we fire the system up. So, she's pulling good heat. Got my tools. My, warrant, my capacitor, I already got the model serial number off of it. I'm going to go to Baker and make them give me a new warranty capacitor. They'll give me another green Trade Pro and restock my truck with it. And that's all there is to it. But it's a very nice system. She's been very happy with it. She was a little disappointed this morning that, you know, not even a year in, she was already broke down. But I explained to her about the Chinese capacitor, and she's okay. I've done her her son's house. We put a 17-seer uh, two-stage system in her son's house. That's what he wanted. I'm not, I, I would have rather went with an inverter, but he wanted the two-stage technology. Anyway, so, a, you know, carrier... Bryant, Payne, ICP uh, companies or dealers, I should say. I highly recommend you change out your caps on startup. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching.